Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And today we are talking all about Baby Mason. He is actually seven weeks old. This is my six week update, which I knew this was gonna happen. I recorded my six week postpartum update and I knew that I was going to be late with his because that's just just how I am around here. Um, but he turned seven weeks old on Monday. Today is Wednesday, so he is seven weeks and two days old. And I'm so glad that he still has some of his hair because by the time we took Leo to his six week appointment, most of his hair had fallen out and he is the only one. I have four boys, if you did not know. Um, I have four boys, and he is the only one that has been mm. born with my brown hair. So, uh, I'm so excited about it. Huh. Okay, so, uh, yeah. When he was born, first of all, I don't know if I said this. I'm recording this on my phone because my battery died, and this is my only chance to get this done. And if I don't, you know how I am. I won't do it. Okay. So I kind of have, have my phone propped up on a Dove baby lotion bottle. Um, and we're just, we're winging it. So, um, anyway, he was born on August 13th. And he weighed 8 pounds, 2 ounces. Can I take this out of your mouth or are you going to cry? He weighed 8 pounds, 2 ounces. And he now weighs 14 pounds. Um, so he got quite big quite fast. Which uh, the pediatrician says is quite normal with breastfed babies. He eats all the time. He has never had any problems with nursing. Um, let's see. There's a, a, like a lot I haven't got to tell you yet. Um, he did have jaundice pretty bad when he was born. Um, for some reason, it just seems to be something about my babies. Every one of my four kids has had to go under the Billy lights um, for high levels of jaundice. He, see I should have made notes because I can't remember exactly what his levels were, but they were very high. Um, so he had to go under the lights, which means we had to go back to the hospital for a day. He had to spend 24 hours under the lights and then he got to come home. I was very upset. Um, I talked about this a little bit in my, my baby group, but I didn't really talk about it on social media. Um, I felt like our pediatrician pushed me into giving him formula because he said that would clean out the bilirubin levels faster. Um, bottom line is, is he had three formula feedings, which I was like two days postpartum at this point and my hormones were all over the place and I just cried. I mean, it broke, I know that formula is not terrible. Like now that my emotions have stabilized, uh, you're not even fussing, why am I trying to give you that? Now that my hormones have stabilized a little bit, I know that formula is not the devil. I mean, I had two other kids that were formula fed. Um, but just breastfeeding has become so important to me. It, it builds such a close relationship and it's something that I wanted to do. So I thought that when they forced me, forced me um, to give him the bottles that he, he would not want the breast after that. But actually he prefers the breast. Um, he, he didn't really want the formula. And uh, so anyway, we ended up back on booby in just a, a few hours, but Clearly his, oh, oh, clearly his jaundice cleared right up, um, and he's been perfectly healthy ever since. He smiles, these social smiles, which you can see on my Instagram pretty regularly, but, uh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. I just, I can't quit staring at them all, like, they just... They're my babies and he just they make me so happy as I said in my postpartum update I've never had a postpartum recovery go this well but this is not about me this is about baby Mason 
So, uh, if his entire name, I don't know if I've told you, is Mason James Rhodes. And he was, I already said this, but he was born on August 13th at 10.22 p.m. I do have a birth story coming for you because we had an emergency induction. Yes, we did. I'll tell you now, it's because he stopped moving, which they said was because he grew out of room. Um, but it was quite an experience. He came out in just a very short amount of time. Um, I ended up dilating from like a, a four to a nine and 15 minutes. It, it was a very interesting experience and I need to record that before I forget everything. Um, he social smiles. He does not roll or anything yet, but as you have seen in this video, he does have pretty good head control. Um, he's very chunky. He's wearing a size two diapers and he can squeeze into some of his zero to three months clothes, but um, mostly it's the things that said zero to six and three to six months. He's just, he's a big one, much like Leo was. If you remember, Leo got really big really quickly too. Um, I said, I feel like they're only newborns for the first four weeks and then they just sprout up like they just have these growth spurts. He has gone through his first mental leap. That was a little bit stressful. He's also passed through his six week growth spurt. Um, he was eating like crazy right on the six week mark. And finally he just, oh hi Leo. He just slowed down a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago I mean. So Leo back here, the only problem that we've had with him is he likes to steal these. He has one in his mouth right now. Where did you find that passy? So I'll have to take that from him when I get done here. Oh. Look how big you are. Hmm. Come here, give me that passy. He won't. I will have to chase him down and take it. Um, oh, as of sleeping through the night. Okay, well, he does not sleep through the night. Um, I've never been lucky enough to get a baby that sleeps through the night early. Um, not even the formula fed ones. But I will say that he will sleep from about 11 p.m until about 4 a.m., which is five hours, and I'm not gonna complain about that. If, if five hours is what I hope to get in a night. So if he sleeps that long, then I'm very satisfied. Um, I'll take five hours. <laughs> he, wake, he goes to bed actually pretty early, about nine o'clock, wakes up about 11 to eat, does not eat again until around five. Last night it was a little earlier, it was like 4.30. And then he'll go back to sleep and sleep until we get up at like seven ish. And usually the the older boy is starting for school, and you know that wakes Leo, and then Leo wakes Mason. So usually by seven thirty we are all up and going. Sometimes he'll take an early morning nap. He naps throughout the day pretty well. Um, I have been swaddling him. Nah, Leo hated to be swaddled. Swaddling wasn't really um, as popular as it is when my older two were born. So it's not really something that I did with them, but I tried it with Leo and he hated being constricted. So I'm kind of surprised that little Mason likes it, but they're, they're already so different. Um, huh, look, I said, you know they're getting chunky when their cheeks set on their chest, huh? Oh, thanks. He does like to grab mommy's hair all the time. Oh, I do have a question for you guys. Um, he has started, okay, he's hungry, so we're gonna have to wrap this up. Uh, he has started pulling his hair. Not, not just when he's mad, but when he's mad too. He will reach up and just get a fistful and pull down like this, and then he screams. Um, I've never had a baby pull their hair like that. This little, uh, I've had some, do it like when they're a little older and they're having a tantrum, but sometimes he just randomly does it. Sometimes he does it when he's upset, and I have no idea what it means or why he's doing it. So does anybody have uh, a similar experience? Did any of your kids do this? Oh, you're rolling your head real? Oh, you're getting sleepy too, huh? So, um, that's Mason James. He, oh, I didn't get to tell you about his name. Okay. So the reason that we kept the name 
to ourselves at first was because uh, Chris's dad's birthday was August 14th and his name was Roger Lee and he passed away a little over two years ago. Leo was four months old when he passed away. He passed away on May the 4th of 2016 and Mason's due date was the 20th and then we had scheduled an induction for the 14th but we didn't make it to the 14th. So if he had been born on Roger's birthday, we were going to name him Roger Mason. But he was not, he was born the day before, so we named him Mason James. And the reason that we named him Mason James is, I actually picked this one mostly, Chris got on board with me, and of course we're very on board now because it's our son. Um, I, I had a grandpa, we here in West Virginia, we don't call him grandpas, we call him papals. Um, but I had a papal, his name was Masol, M-A-S-O-L. And we called him Papal Mace. And his middle name was John. His name was Masol John Rose, R-O-S-E. My name didn't change much. And um, he passed away when I was a little girl. And I wanted to find a name that kind of represented somebody on my side of the family because I've never done that before. Oh. And so we went through and we picked, I, I chose Mason because it's only one letter different from Maisel and I thought Maisel was just a little too outdated. And I chose James because uh, Chris had a grandpa James. So it still gives me the initials that my papa had. It's MJR. Uh-huh. And um, we found out later from Chris's grandma. Oh, he's so hungry. He's about to scream. But we found out from Chris's grandma that he also had a mason. So it ended up working out pretty well for both of our sides of the family. Always trying to eat. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, that's that's how he got his name. He was named after my papa Mace, and that's probably what we will call him is Mace, won't we? But he was also named after Chris's side too, so I thought that worked out pretty perfectly. So I don't want to. Oh, baby, I don't want this to turn into just him fussing up a storm. So I'm gonna go feed my baby. Mace, can you say goodbye? Say bye, guys. Can you say bye, YouTube? So you'll see much more of me. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and let me know about the hair pulling because it baffles me. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.